printing an iPhone case with 3D film is much easier than paper. First, we'll remove the blank iPhone case from its packaging and remove any protective films that may be covering the case. And then we also have our 3D printed film transfer. Rather than folding, all you need to do is flip the case over and place it face down into the print and then attach from the inside with two pieces of thermal tape. And you can pretty much attach them anywhere as it will not black, block the transfer. From here, we'll take our mold and simply place the case onto the mold. It is now ready to go into the heat press, so it's considerably faster than a paper transfer. Open your 3D heat press and load the transfer into the heating tray. Close the tray and press the, count, the vacuum button to begin the vacuum function. You will see that the film consistently wraps all the edges and takes care of all of the corners for you. From there, press timing, and we're going to press this at about 170 Celsius, though the press will fluctuate in temperature a little bit, in about eight and a half minutes. Once you're done pressing, open your heat press and remove the case. You will notice that the film has formed a shell around the edge of the case. Simply take a corner of it and peel it back. And this will be very hot, so make sure you're using at least one heat glove. And then slowly take these edges and push them inwards. This will ensure that the 3D pressing process has not malformed the case and that your customers will receive a tight-fitting, secure iPhone case. Remove these pieces of paper and then set this into a bucket of cool water to set the shape. Once finished, you will see that not only was the process of creating a 3D film pressed case much quicker, but it results in a much more consistent and vibrant image all the way across every contour.